Welcome back to YouTube Millionaire. If you haven't seen the first episode yet, don't even bother because this episode is too amazing to wait any longer for. So this month I opened up a Patreon that rewards people for donating money to my channels as advised by the Random Melon. And OMG, I owe that guy my life, but we'll get to that at the end of the episode. Anyway, on Astral Phase where I started Phase 2 of Gaming Through the Ages, which performed okay, but Marty even sent me three Skypes for me a list of games to play, and said if I play all the games he's chosen, he'll donate $2,000. I didn't believe him at first, but just stick around and wait because I've got some huge news coming up later. Next up this month, we had OS First Timer in which Diner tried out... Uh, stuff it, I can't go at snail's pace anymore. I've got some amazing info to tell you guys, so let's just skip some stuff for now. Forget about the videos, Shift OS made it onto Steam this month, and not only that, but it got put on the front page as a featured top seller. Michael and his team made just over $12 million from the project and are in the process of rewriting and converting it into a legit competitor against Windows and Mac operating systems. And guess what? Michael gave me $1 million worth of profit, saying that without my seed, he couldn't have gotten where he is today. So, I reached the million, right? It's all over? No, not even close. So much more has happened this month. One of my YouTube videos went mega viral and broke the previous record of 2.7 billion views set by Gangnam Style. And yes, believe it or not, it was the No, that's my yucky lunch video I uploaded years ago to the Discontinued 12 Patterns channel. That video brought in just over $2 million, but of course half the money is already gone due to Australian taxes. I wish Donald Trump would come over here and build a wall around the Australian Taxation Office. Anyway, moving on to Let's Explore. Lance took over Let's Explore this month, reviving it from the discontinued section. The Let's Explore concept went viral and boom! Every current Let's Explorer earned over $40,000 for each of their Let's Explore episodes. And Lance opened up the official Let's Explore headquarters, which in its first quarter, and by that I mean quarter of an hour, made a total of $3.4 million. Lance gave me $1 million as a thank you for the initial idea I came up with for Let's Explore, not realising that I'd already reached my $1 million goal multiple times. Since things were going so well, I decided to start up a new YouTube billionaire channel. But as it turns out, YouTube has already become an inferior platform now, being replaced with something much better, which I'll get to in a moment. Basically, on the fan funding high score list, Mighty Eagle 73 and Victor Tran wanted to break free of their tie behind Mr. Jed385, who don't donated $53.33. So Victor Tran donated $100 and Mighty Eagle 73 donated $250. Then Mr. Jed385 said Mr. Jed strikes again and donated $1,000. Mighty Eagle 73 then instead decided to dominate the Patreon by donating $100 a month. And on that topic, I got 973 supporters on Patreon, donating a total of $24,000 a month. So thanks so much, Random Melon, for suggesting it. Victor Tran really wanted to be at the top of the score list, so he used his fame to create the Victor Tran brand, selling Victor Tran hats, shirts, and so on. We questioned the Patreons in the Astral Phaser chat about Victor Tran merchandise, and practically everyone stated that they wanted Victor Tran underpants. Pants. Basically, Victor Tran has been saying he wants to sell like Victor Tran shirts, Victor Tran hats, and that kind of thing. What kind of Victor Tran merchandise would you guys want to say? Uh, uh, Victor Tran Victor Tran pants. Pants. Underwear. Underwear. Underpants. Underwear. 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 Okay. Underwear. And how many pairs? Uh, Underwear. Okay. Ten. Uh, okay. Wonder. <laughs> 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 need to embrace the spoiler things. Embrace the spoiler These underpants were a worldwide hit. However, Victor Tran kept the profit secret, so I don't know how much he earned exactly. But thanks to Mighty Eagle 73's recent photo of Victor Tran lines and its motto, not just a blue happy plane, I assume he's a billionaire. And with all that extra money, he added a donation of a million dollars to the top of the scoreboard and, hoping to get a little more famous myself, I wrote and sung the Victor Tran song that got to the top of the Billboard Top 100 for 2017. Oh, I was just sitting down at my PC Reading all the comments on my beard videos Then I saw Victor Tran, Victor Tran and I thought, OMG, he's got two white eyes and a smiling mouth. Oh, what will I do? I think I'd better run away before he kills me. 
Victor Tran became the world's richest man and opened up a top-notch video sharing site supporting 3D 64K collision compatible VR videos that you can jump inside and touch called VicTube. It's powered by the Shell OS running on quantum hardware and Mighty Eagle 73 was the first user to upload a Victio on it all about Victor Tran's merchandise. All was gone good for Victor Tran until he got a knock at the door. When he opened it, in came Mr. Jed with a gun and said, Mr. Jed strikes again. Victor Tran then had all his money robbed and Mr. Jed donated it in order to become the top donator on the Astral Phaser fan funding scoreboard. I was just about to make a VicTube trillionaire series at this point, but then something happened. Apparently the floppy pen trick I did on what the heck just happened was copyrighted or something and the magician who created it then sued me which left me with only $309.04. The same amount I started off with at the start of the month. Luckily Michael felt sorry for me and gave me another million so here we go. Time to reveal what the million dollars is for. I'm going to be opening up a Victor Tran museum and all of Victor Tran's belongings and photos taken of him throughout his life will be on display there. There'll even be a gift shop where you can buy your Victor Tran underpants if you haven't already. Be sure to register now to attend the opening of the museum in exactly one year from this day. To confirm that is April 1st 2018. Yes April 1st is the opening day so I'll see you guys there. Goodbye.